Okay, this video is to clear up some confusion as to the temperature, which is the yellow lead in probes, the electrodes, whether we're using aquametrics one inch probes, aquametrics inch and a half probes, or the Hawk inch and a half probes, or the Sensor X probes that would be inch and a half connecting to different meters. The temperature impedance standard for the old Great Lakes, or later on called Hawk, is 300 ohm impedance on the temperature electro in the temperature electrode. The temperature electrodes impedance for the Alchemetrics brands of five wire differential pH probes connected to the meters is 1,000 ohm impedance. So if you have an aquametrics meter, it will be defaulted to 1,000 ohms, which would be fine for their aquametrics probes to their meter. But if you have a Hawk or a Sensor X electrode going to their meter, you would need to change their meter to 300 ohm impedance for it to read correctly. And the same goes to true with the Hawk instruments or Great Lakes instruments it, before they were named Hawk, they were Great Lakes prior to. So we have several systems out there with older pH analyzers. So this analyzer is the Hawk FC200, uh, and I've got a Hawk one inch probe connected to it. Then I need, it, I'm getting there, I need to change the impedance from, I believe it's right now in one, as 1000, and I need to change it to a Hawk. And it would be the same if I also put a sensor X electrode on. They both sensor X electrodes and Hawk electrodes both use 300 ohm impedance. So you go to the menu and you go to um, the sensor setup. And in the sensor setup, go to configure and go down to the temperature element. Not temperature units, the temperature element and then select the type, hit enter, and there's the impedance right now. It's set at 1000, so this has to be changed to NTC 300. I hit enter, and that's it. It goes back to home, and now it doesn't have the flashing error any longer. Okay, and also that can change the reading as well if it's not stabilized in temperature or whatever. So that's how that meter is changed. The other meters have similar menus to change the temperature element impedance and they may name it differently. I forget on the aquametrics. I thought I had a different video to show you how to do that. Again, um, so either of these meters can use the five wire differential electrodes from any of the three companies. The three companies being aquametrics, Hawk probes, or Sensor X probes. But Hawk and Sensor X use 300 ohm impedance, while the Aquametrics use 1,000 ohm impedance. Um, so they, these devices would be typically defaulted to 1,000 ohm impedance, and these would be defaulted to 300. Then they would, if you're using a crisscross of brands, you would need to select the proper impedance based on which electrode and which meter you're using.